Just this morning, I did a video talking about how the Spurs need to convert one more player to a two-way contract and wave three more. Well, they have converted a player, and I think it was the right one. What is up, San Antonio Spurs fans? Welcome to TSR Sports. Hope you're having a great weekend. And finally, Riley Minix is a Spur. We have two articles from Hoops Rumors. Let's get to the first one. Spurs convert Riley Minix to a two-way contract. They converted the former Moorhead State forward, and I think it was a great move. Let's get into the article. San Antonio signed Minix to an Exhibit 10 deal in July after he went undrafted in June. Minix averaged 20.9 points, about 10 boards, 1.3 steals, and 1 blocks per game while shooting about 35% from 3 as a 6-7 forward at Moorhead State. He also averaged 9 points per game in 4 summer league games. I also saw some stats on a lot of articles saying he got shot 70% in the preseason, which is wrong because he went 8 of 12. It literally says he went 8 of 12, parentheses 70%. 8 of 12, 4 of 6, 2 of 3, 2 thirds, 66%. My math not mathing? Anyway, because he was signed to an Exhibit 10 deal and the Spurs had an open two-way slot, no corresponding moves were necessary in converting his contract. All right, that's pretty cool. Minix conversion is an indication that fellow Exhibit 10 signees Malachi Flynn, Brandon Boston Jr., and the Bouye didn't make the team. Hold on. Minix joins David Duke Jr. and Harrison Ingram as San Antonio's two-way players for the upcoming season. And as we fast forward to later in the day... The Spurs have set their opening night roster, waving Malachi Flynn and Brandon Boston to reach limit, the team announced in a press release. Also let go was Jamari Bouye, who signed with the team on Friday. Look around the interwebs, it looks like they just signed him to send him off to Austin. So the old sign and wave deal, etc. All three players were in camp on non-guaranteed Exhibit 10 contracts, so the Spurs won't have any future financial obligations to them. They will be eligible to earn bonuses worth about $78,000 apiece if they spend at least 60 days with the team's G affiliate, the Austin Spurs. There are 18 players on San Antonio's roster, 15 holding standard contracts, plus three two-way deals. That means our roster is set. It's done. We have who we have, and I think it was the right move. If you've been watching this channel at all, or if you're new, Riley Minix is a guy that I've been rooting for to get the final two-way contract. I expected the other three guys to get waived. Will he come up and see the regular season at all? I don't know. Depends who's struggling. If somebody's, I hate to throw him under the bus, but he's a player that's been talked about a lot on this channel, even though his contract was just picked up. Malachi Branham has been horrible from three. He's been aggressive in making his two-point shots. I'll give credit where credit is due, but his three-point shooting has been abysmal so far in the preseason. His defense, of course, lackluster as always. And if he's struggling throughout the first half of the season, maybe the Spurs do bring up Minix. I don't know, but I think this is a great move. A uh, short update video here, not really much more to talk about, so I'm not just going to ramble on. Drop a comment down below. Do you agree with the moves? Do you like Minix being the one that was picked? Do you think it should have been Malachi Flynn or Boston or the Bouye? Do you think the Bouye should have got the last two-way contract? Let me know in the comments down below. Hit the thumbs up, like, support the channel, and subscribe to become part of our awesome San Antonio Spurs community. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you, and as always, go Spurs, go. <laughs> Let me get the game off. Let me get the game off. And then you're ready to wear me.